Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. As you can see, I'm dressed all cute, so uh, that means one thing. It's Easter time and my wife bought my clothes. Today I'm gonna cook on my drum smoker. Uh, we got family coming over. We're gonna do a, a ham. I'm gonna glaze it with honey, brown sugar. We're gonna make it delicious. And I'm also gonna be doing a smoked meatloaf. So I appreciate you guys joining me. And uh, I'm about to light the smoker. Get it up to about 225, 250. When that happens, we'll uh, come back and put the ham on. Thanks again. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make some smoked meatloaf. Uh, what I have here, I've chopped up some onion, red and green bell pepper. I'll be using Tony Cashery's Creole seasoning, some salt, granulated garlic, granulated onion black pepper i've got two pounds of ground round and i've chopped up some bacon real fine doesn't look fine but it is we're gonna mix this all together and uh form it in form it into some meatloaf you don't want to mix the meat up real real you don't want to be aggressive with it because they're gonna make it make it tough we're just gonna put all this stuff in here. My stepdaughter Lily's gonna help me. She's standing over here to the side. I know you can't see us, but hopefully you can hear me. Put all this stuff in there, that's good enough. I don't measure stuff, man. I go by feel. A little bit of that Creole seasoning. You just set that down right there, babe. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. A little bit of black pepper. Feels good. When it feels good, that's enough. A little bit of granulated onion. Granulated garlic. I don't use that powder stuff. Don't like it. About that much salt. All right. Now we just want to mix all this together. Get it good and incorporated. You see me mixing it, it probably looks like I'm being aggressive, but I'm kind of pulling it apart as I go. I don't wanna, I don't wanna pack that meat together. All right, there's one more thing I'm gonna add I didn't tell you guys. That's uh, the barbecue rub. Killer Hogs, Malcolm Reed. I watch all his videos. I really like what he's got going on. Put a little bit more of that stuff. Can't go wrong with that. Make sure you get your stickers out. You don't want a sticker on your food. What you think, Lily? That looked pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna run and put this in the pans. Uh, I got little pans I'm just gonna form it with. Nothing special. Then uh, we'll be back. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Here's my meatloaf after it's formed. I just used one of these pans. Uh, nothing special. But I got the grill going. We're going to get it up to 225. I'm going to smoke this meatloaf. Going to use uh, some peach wood. Just a little bit of hickory. And uh, when I get the, the grill lit, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right. Thank you. Hey, guys. It's Easter here in Georgia. Today I'm gonna to smoke this ham. I got it from Sam's Club. You probably see the meatloaf put together my meatloaf. But we're gonna put this on the uh, drum smoker. I'm gonna smoke it for about two and a half to maybe three hours. I will be checking the internal temperature. I'm gonna go on and put the probe in when I first put it on there. So I don't want it to go over 140. When it gets around 130 to 135, I'm gonna start glazing it with some honey, brown sugar, a little molasses, I might put some peach jam in there. I don't know um, just yet how I want to do it, but we're going to get this on the smoker. We're going to get the meatloaf on the smoker. we got family coming in about three and a half hours, so we'll see what we got. I really appreciate you guys uh, checking out my channel. If you would, just click like, subscribe to me, share my videos, email me, comment, 
I'll uh, I'll respond. I'm nothing famous. I just love to cook and I love being outside. So uh, stick around and we'll get this ham on my drum. All right, everybody. You see the smoker? It's right at 300. That's about where I want it to be. If it drops down a little bit, it won't be the end of the world. Check that bad boy. Ain't that pretty? Go dogs! It's Easter Sunday. We're going to show y'all how to do a smoked honey glazed ham and some smoked meatloaf. So here we go. Hang on. All right, everybody. I uh, went ahead and put the put the probes in. Got one in the ham. I got one sitting on the grate. I'm using this uh, thermal probe. Uh, get my shadow on your way so you can see. Um, it works okay. There are times when this one doesn't want to sink with this one. And uh, so like you'll be sitting on the couch or whatever, and these temperatures will be really far off from what the actual temperature really is. So I don't depend on this that much. Um, you have to keep hitting the sink button a lot. But uh, I mean, it works okay for what it is. Um, Duck professional here, just out in the backyard hanging out. Dogs in the shade, it's Easter. Uh, we smoke it. Back a little bit, look at this ham. Let's talk a little bit about this here uh, drum smoker. Not everybody has them, but man, I tell you, you can't beat them. Um, you have fun building them. You see, I decorated this one all up. Um, University of Georgia. I've got another one that's undone sitting in my basement. I'm gonna have a guy wrap it. He's got some high, high temp wrap. We're gonna really do it up because it's gonna be four color process. We, I mean, you can do pictures or anything. Um, not sure what theme I want, but on these pits, what you have is you got your exhaust. You can tell mine's that's a two inch pipe. I leave it wide open all the time. I never vent that pipe. And uh, you'll see a lot of people with, with the valves closed on top. I don't because if you do, you start starving the fire and uh, you start getting a lot of crisp seal on top of your, on top of your lid, which you don't want. So I'll leave that wide open all the time. And then on the sides, I got two ball valves. That's what I adjust to uh, keep my temp. See, I wanted about two, 250, so I, I opened them up just a little bit to try to get it to come up. Um, once it comes up a little bit, I'll close this one off pretty much all the way. And I'll have the other one just barely, uh, barely open. On the back side, there is one down here, but I never open it up. Um, I put it on there. Next one I build, I won't. I put it on there because that's what I've seen. Uh, ugly drums, um, Texas on Facebook. Ugly drums, I mean, there's several Facebook websites about ugly drums. They're great to be on. Um, some really talented guys share their their way of doing it. Um, I mean, they, they, you just can't beat the cook that you get out of these drums. They hold heat extremely well. Um, it's just, uh, I've actually cooked 17 hours in the thing uh, in, on one basket of, of charcoal. I do, I use the Kingsford Blue. I like it. Um, you can have a three hour discussion on charcoal. I don't buy the cheap stuff. Um, b and B's good. I've used it. I use the lump charcoal that I cook in my Primo uh, with. It, it runs good in here. But uh, it's just something I guess growing up in the South, I love my Kingsford. The Kingsford Blue Bag. Runs very well. Um, never have any issues out of it. But if you don't have your drum, start looking around, man. They, you can buy all the accessories that go on the side and stuff online. You don't have to. I went to Home Depot and spent hours walking up and down aisles finding all my stuff. But you can buy the whole kit online. If you don't have one, they'll get you one. Hey, everybody. The ham's getting up about 125 degrees. I'm going to throw some glaze on it. I'm going to uh, remove this thermometer here. I couldn't cook it standing up because I didn't put my rack low enough. And the way I built it, I should have went down further. But uh, I did. So it is what it is. So I'm afraid that some of this might be drying on the end. We'll see. Be edible. So what I got here, this is a uh, honey brown sugar, light brown sugar, 
a little bit of sweet baby rays, a little bit of stubbis barbecue sauce. I think I said molasses already. Mole asses. I'm gonna take this and lay it on here. See how thick it is? That's about what you want. You don't want it real runny. Go pat this bad boy down. Gonna make it good. Hope them pieces right there ain't dried out. They are the family won't ever forgive me. Be alright. They gotta love me, right? It's family. Y'all see my meatloaf sitting back here? Looking good. Just gonna slobber it on there. Let it caramelize. And once you do this, you gotta start watching it because you don't want that, that honey to burn and be all nasty. Won't nobody like it. I'm hoping it'll be so good you rub it on your forehead, you lick your brains out, but that's yet to be determined. We're going to see. Gotta get all down in there. I push it up against the. All right, everybody. My uh, the meatloaf is at about 145. We're going to put some blues hog on there. A lot of people put ketchup on their uh, put their put ketchup all over. I like to put this in barbecue sauce. Get a little bit of sweetness. Sure, it look good. Ooh, got a little fire going on down there, huh? Gotta get this uh, lid closed up. All right, everybody, this uh, meatloaf's done. We're gonna get it off of here. Looks pretty good. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. One thing that happened to me is I had a pizza pan sitting on top of my charcoal tray. For some reason it slipped sideways and that grease went down into the charcoal, flamed it up real bad. So I had to close off all the vents, kept this cover, got the heat back down, the fire went out. So uh, just to warn, if you ever do that, make sure you don't uh, let your grease fall on your fire. There it is. See how it's smoking real bad? Yeah, baby. There it is. Good that bad boy look. Smells, man. I wish you could. You could smell this stuff. Before we just live back there. We're we'll gonna head into the house. Yeah, girl. Okay, I have to do it on my front hand. My hand is something else. And it's something else. And then I'm going to do that. Oh, ho, ho. that's why we have a net, boys and girls. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>